Hi everyone, welcome to Blaze Kick Media, and uh, we have a quick update video on the Zelda artwork we discussed earlier. So earlier, a piece of artwork was leaked by Amazon on the game's official page, but now this artwork has been officially released on the Nintendo Facebook page, and it provides a larger view of the same scene. So we're just going to go over the details that were missing in the original. If you want to see what we talked about in the first time, just go watch the original video. I'm sure we'll have the link in the description. But the new things here are the bridge, the lake, the snowy mountain, uh, and a full view of the tiny tower on the right. So, um, to start with the tower, that's interesting to me, because we can clearly see a blue streak along it, which goes... This is, for me, the most intriguing thing. That blue streak sort of lines up with all the blue energy we've seen so far, which leads me to believe that this tower, maybe you can activate, and it sends power to different parts of the land. Um... I firmly believe that there's a big theme about energy and like this whole blue glowing energy in this world and I feel like those towers will be a big part of it. Um, and we can get a better view now, it looks less like a master sword. It still has a sword-like shape, but now it's more clearly defined. Um, and just to the left of that we have what would I would assume would be the, um, what do you call it in 12 bits, is the Bridge of El Elden? Elden? Yeah, I'm assuming that's the Bridge of Elden. Um, at least that, the Bridge of Elden was in one of the original game demos, so we're assuming that's the Bridge of Elden. And right under it, uh, there's what looks to be Lake Hylia, which we can now more clearly see. A lot of people were saying this stuff at first, we thought it was fog, but now we can clearly tell all of its water. Um, due to the presence of the blue water on the left. So we have Lake Hylia and below. It's being a, and it's very apparently doing a light reflection, which is what we were seeing. Right. Um, and so then we can go just to the left and see that building on the cliff, which Tyler kind of thought maybe was some sort of lake house or observatory. Um, or actually, were you saying that was, or the other tiny building, all the way to Palapa? Uh, the, the building at the, uh, the building at the ridge, yeah. Okay. Um, and if we look all the way back, we can see snowy mountains, which we had not seen before. Um, we couldn't really tell they were snowy, so this is very interesting, gives us a better picture. Tyler had commented earlier, oh, the lake is missing, um... And I didn't even notice the bridge was missing either, but now that we can see the bottom half of this photo and some of the left, it, we've got a much better picture now. Um, yeah. The, uh, the ideas that I had before about it being more reminiscent of the classic Zelda map is a little bit different now, mm -hmm. seeing <laughs> as how once you add two entirely new biomes to a picture, it completely changes the look yeah. of the world to you. For sure. Uh, oh. And also on the note of the, the tower that you see close to the uh, close to the rock face, um, it it very heavily resembles a watchtower of all things. The top is the top looks open, almost like a right. like a gate or uh, bars that end at a steeple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you'll definitely be able to climb all over those towers for sure. Yeah, yeah as is indicated by the rock face. Mm -hmm. Um. So rock climbing about... still confirmed, yes. Oh yeah, absolutely. That's still in there. Um, so that's it for this quick update video. Uh, and thank you for watching. Be sure to like this video and share it. Thanks for watching.